Hi there Aries, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future and I'm going to be pulling out oracle cards at the end. Okay Aries, so let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Aries please? Past energy for Aries. 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 So it's the most recent past. You could even be going through it now, so just take it as is. So the past energy for Aries, please. Aries. Okay. One more, Aries. All right, so the past energy for Aries, please. The King of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign. The King of Wands or a fire sign. with death and let's get the present energy for Aries the page of cups the five of cups the six of pentacles and the future energy for Aries The Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. And the overall energy for the reading. The World in reverse. So I don't see an ending or an end to a cycle though. Even though death popped out. So again, when I clarify, I'll gain more insight. Okay. But it seems like in the past, there was someone that had a lot of love for you and passion. So it's love and passion. And there could have been an ending. Okay, with death, because death talks about like endings and new beginnings. But it could also could have also been like this connection went through changes. Because now I see someone wanting to express how they feel with the page of cups. They could be missing you, feeling the loss of this connection. They could even be feeling remorse. But it's like they're wanting there to be balance where there's like an equal give and take in energy. However, I feel like you and this person are not together in the 3D with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So I do see a lack of stability. There could very well be a distance between you and this person. It doesn't necessarily have to be. But you're showing up as the Nine of Pentacles. So you're very self-focused. You could be focused on your independence, taking great care of yourself. This could also be talking about like healing. And with the Two of Swords in reverse, I feel like someone's been hit with some sort of clarity, okay? So regarding their feelings, you could have been hit with clarity. But at the same time, there could be even... Um, so if this is someone that's wanting things to change within this dynamic, there could be some confusion. But again, let me clarify before I say anything else, okay? So, let's see. Let me clarify the world... In reverse for Aries, please. The world in reverse for Aries. The world in reverse for Aries. The world in reverse for Aries. Okay, one more. All right, so clarifying the world in reverse for Aries. No way, that's crazy. The hangman with the queen of cups. I see a match. But it's like, um, 
Let me just get another card. No way. That's the world in reverse with the world. I feel like this is you wanting there to be an end to a cycle, especially if there's like a lack of clarity regarding the situation. You're showing up as a queen of cups. You're very loving, very nurturing. And I do see a match. But with the star in reverse, I feel like things haven't been balanced out within this connection. Things haven't been healed. Um, someone could be losing hope, so it could very well be you. But it's like um, possibly of having like a desire for clarity regarding this situation. So let me clarify the King of Cups. So the feelings are mutual. So let me clarify the King of Cups. Yeah, so this person's not communicating how they feel towards you with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So this person has a lot of love for you, but they could be wearing a mask, okay? That's why there's a lack of clarity. So this is someone that's having to get out of their headspace with the Nine of Swords in reverse. So let me get one more card. Like overcoming any sort of fear or anxiety. Like they do have clarity regarding their feelings. Maybe they're aware. Um, so if this is someone that is overthinking things there could be even anxiety fears um, maybe they're, they're realizing that they have to get out of that state in order to communicate like I feel like this person does have clarity regarding their feelings so let me clarify the king of wands yeah but I don't see them really Oh boy, so I don't really see them um, moving forward or taking action. But they got the Hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Oh, but it's like they do have an awareness when it comes to this connection. It's very meaningful. So I do see that potential for a passionate new beginning. And I see, um, yeah, so this person has a lot of passion towards you. But let me clarify death. Something about this connection could be transformative as well with the Hermit, the Ace of Wands. So there you go, the Page of Cups. This is someone that's wanting there to be a brand new beginning. Interesting. And like wanting to express how they feel. So this took a bit of a turn. It's like they're, they're wanting there to be a brand new beginning, a brand new passionate beginning. But it's like the fool in reverse. So I don't see this person taking that leap of faith. There could have been like fears regarding taking this leap of faith or even being... Ooh, but I see them wanting to take action though. Like a desire to take action. So this could have been someone that had to get out of their headspace. Let go of any sort of fears, worries. Because I see that they do have love for you and they're wanting to express it. Let me clarify the Page of Cups. The Lovers. The Five of Pentacles in Reverse. Oh, so this person, you, you are dealing with a very special connection. But there could, uh, there could be like uncertainty or even insecurities. So regarding expressing how they feel, because they could be stuck in, so they could be feeling the loss of this connection, feeling remorse. So let me clarify the Five of Cups. Clarifying the Five of Cups. It's possible you may have pulled your energy back as well, okay? Clarifying the Five of Cups, please. The Eight of Pentacles. 
So this person is like wanting to be honest about how they feel. So I see them wanting to move forward away from any sort of conflict. Okay, so if there has been issues in the past, so they are thinking about you with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, there is heavy contemplation, okay? And they're feeling remorse, especially if they're having um, like trouble expressing how they feel towards you. I feel like they're wanting this brand new beginning, but let me clarify the Six of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords in reverse. They're not really being direct about their feelings, though, with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Someone here is not being direct about how they feel. And there you go, the King of Wands with the Tower. Um, this is someone... So maybe you pulled your energy back, um, or they're not really communicating their feelings directly with the Queen of Swords in reverse. So that could very well be causing confusion or like a lack of clarity. But interesting enough, it's like this person does have a lot of passion towards you. And they could have very well been hit with a tower moment of realization. Like an aha moment when it comes to you. This is someone that's wanting there to be balance where there's like an equal give and take in energy. But let me clarify this ten of pentacles in reverse before I say anything else. See, I see a potential for a brand new opportunity. Eight of Swords in reverse. With the Five of Wands. Hmm. Let me get one more card. Sorry about that. Yeah, like... There is that potential for a brand new opportunity, but someone's having to get out of their headspace with the Eight of Swords in reverse. So with the Five of Wands, um, there could very well be like um, internal conflict. Someone could even be suppressing their desires, especially if this is someone that has a lot of passion towards you with the King of Wands and the Tower and the Ace of Wands. and the So this is someone that has a lot of passion towards you. But again, like there's difficulty achieving balance within this connection. Where there's like an equal give and take in energy. Even though there's this brand new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. But it's like you and this person are not together in the 3D. So let me clarify the Nine of Pentacles. So there could very well be conflict between you and this person. Someone could even be frustrated as well. Judgment in reverse. The Hierophant. There is someone that's indecisive. Okay. Okay. Seems like you are dealing with a very spiritual connection. But I see you kind of being self-focused. Like you are dealing with a very special connection with the Hierophon and the Two of Cups. The Two of Swords in Reverse. Clarifying the Two of Swords in Reverse. There you go, the sun in reverse, with justice in reverse. This, this situation is making someone quite restless. I feel like um, things if things haven't taken a turn for the positive, okay, it's making someone quite unhappy. Someone is indecisive here with the nine of pentacles and judgment in reverse. So that's why things haven't been made right or balanced out within this connection, even though there's clarity regarding one's feelings. But there could be like indecision, confusion. Like I see someone wanting to take down any sort of walls or barriers with the Nine of Wands in reverse. There is that level of openness, like wanting to take down the walls, any walls or barriers within this connection. But... Um, Again, there, there has to be effort or work placed into this connection. Let me get one more card for fun. Yeah, like there is indecision. Like on how to make things right. How to balance things out. Because I don't really see an end to a cycle with the world card in reverse. I feel like this is somebody that's wanting there to be a brand new beginning. A brand new passionate beginning. 
Okay, so let me get further insight from the Intimate Tarot. That was my brother <laughs> making all that noise in the background. All right. Messages from the Intimate Tarot. For Aries, please. Aries. 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 Could also be someone having to heal something within their heart space oh so they're seeing you as the nine of pentacles you could be very self-focused focused on your independence taking great care of yourself and the three of cups i feel like they're wanting there to be victory and success they're wanting things to work out nine of cups again you could be focused on your own wish fulfillment but i see this as someone having um um, romantic feelings towards you and there you go there is that potential for a brand new beginning in love and i see someone reflecting on this connection with the six of cups okay maybe there's someone that's having to heal from the past but i see someone having romantic feelings towards you with the knight of cups wanting to express how they feel and there is that potential for stability with the four of wands um so you're, you are dealing with a very special connection. I'll get one more for Aries, please. And there you go, the Three of Wands. So there could be like a delay or someone could be waiting. Okay, so there could be, especially if there's um, a lack of clarity because someone's not being direct about their feelings. And it could stem from like insecurities, fears. But it's like, it seems like the feelings are mutual and someone could be feeling restless. But anyway, let me see. Let me get messages from the Oracle deck for Aries, please. Let's see what the messages are. Oh, I knew it. So there you go. The feelings are mutual. I love you. These are powerful words. Card number 20. Okay, which is two but also talking about choices, like the choice, someone having to make that choice to express how they feel. Have faith, trust your faith in the situation, card number 12, which is three, okay? And one more for Aries, please. No, oh, that's too many, but I'll, okay, fine, I'll take that. Okay, so new love, embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects are for spiritual growth card number 26 which is eight okay so there's could there could be a potential for something new so if this is not someone from so it could be like since it's the most recent right past it could be someone new that's wanting to express how they feel but there could be some difficulties doing so so card number 35 which is eight again speak the language of love Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own, okay? So it seems like there has to be, like, expression. And so let's see. Let me get messages from the Romance Angel deck for Aries, please. Aries. 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 Okay. Messages for Aries. Aries. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay. Let me try that again. Too many cards. One more card. two cards wanted to come out okay so 
finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so this could be someone that's f okay so if there are, there could be financial issues somebody could even be focused on their finances and career right especially then since the nine of pentacles showed up twice okay romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring okay so let me get messages from the soul helper deck for aries um card number 26 which is eight eight could be a significant number the love of your dragon reaches out to you the realm of your truth is opening up okay and that's so somebody does you, you may have clarity here so maybe if even if there is a like a lack of clarity regarding the situation you you're still focused on self with the nine of pentacles oh too many cards but i'll take this one so card number 35 which is eight wow this is <laughs> a lot of eights follow your vision never lose sight of what is really important okay so even if there may be a lack of clarity i think that's what the message is it's like continue to focus on yourself um so hopefully if there is like a, a like a cycle it'll come to an end where there's actual like direct communication someone does have the uh, you know ability to express how they feel towards you okay so that's my reading for you Aries, and i'll see you next time take care